everyone and welcome back to Brink of Speed. My name is Mike and today's video is all about the new mid-engine Chevrolet C8 Corvette and its interior. But first of all, let's talk about the transmission because I have some new information about that that I'd love to share with you first. So the latest information about the transmission is that there will not be a manual transmission in this C8 Corvette. However, they are going to adopt a version of Trimix TR9007 7-speed dual clutch transmission. This transmission is known to support speeds of up to 10,000 RPMs and torque levels as high as 664 foot-pounds of torque, which if you remember in a couple of my C8 videos, I talked about that they are going to put a high revving V8 engine in this car and uh, so that would go well with this transmission that you know can support high RPMs. One of the reasons why people are saying that they will not make a manual transmission is because GM has spent a lot of time with this new Trimic 7-speed dual clutch transmission getting it ready for the C8 Corvette and they're not going to spend more time and more money, which would be actually a, a very expensive task to go ahead and develop a manual transmission that would coincide or coexist with this seven speed dual clutch, especially because the dual clutch transmissions over the years have proven to be a far superior option for performance due to there being no interruption in power delivery when they shift gears. And that's exactly the way that they work. As you can see in uh, some of my videos where I am shifting my 8-speed automatic transmission in my C706, there is a little bit of lag between shifts. However, in a seven-speed dual clutch transmission, there is zero lag. Now, the second thing that I wanted to talk about is time frame. When is this car going to be released? Well, there are two options, late 2018 or beginning early 2019. Either it's going to be at the LA Auto Show uh, first part of December, or it is going to be at the Detroit Auto Show uh, middle of January. Most people out there believe it's not going to happen in LA. It's going to happen in Detroit, especially because, uh, you know, Detroit is the Motor City and this is a brand new product that GM is bringing out. And so they're, they're going to introduce it right at the home of GM, which is Detroit. Let's talk about pricing again, because there's a lot of people out there that feel like this car is going to be priced well over $100,000. And I want to explain to you why I believe it's not going to. I know I've already done a Price is Right video that explains why I feel like it's not going to. But this is more of a factual reason than just something that I think or believe. Number one, we now know for a fact that this will be a high production car. So because of it being a high production car, it's not going to be a high priced car. Number two, we also know that the C7 will not be made alongside this new C8. So that also gives us a very good reason to know for a fact that they're, they're not going to keep the C7 at the pricing that it is now and then build a C8 to be able to price it at a higher price. Now, there are still some people out there that believe the C7 is definitely going to be made alongside the C8. However, if you look at some of the latest statements by GM's Vice President, VP of Operations, he made the statement that once the C8 comes out, that's it. It's the new Corvette. So 
unless there's something that he's not saying or what he said could be misconstrued. I don't know. But from what we're hearing from him, the C7 is definitely not going to be made alongside the C8. And so we will see the C7 go away most likely in 2019 it will be the last year of the c7 and then the end of 2019 around september or october the c8 will come out as a 2020 c8 corvette and that'll be the end of the c7 number three they are actually going to make multiple versions of this car aside from the grand sport z06 and zr1 and so I feel like those models and then these other models, which we'll talk about here in a second, are going to be the more expensive models. However, the base C8 will not. It will be anywhere from low 60s to mid 60s. And at the highest, it's not going to be much more than high 60s. Let's go ahead and move on to the next uh, topic, which is will there be an electric hybrid version of this C8? I actually think there will be for sure. And GM has already trademarked the name Corvette E-Ray. And so that is another version that I was talking about that is separate from the Z06, the Grand Sport, and the ZR1. And I totally believe that they will call their electric hybrid version, the E-Ray. And it even could be a full electric car, but I would think that they would probably go with a hybrid instead because that would be a little more efficient in this type of a car. Okay, so there are also other rumors about different names of different models for these C8 Corvettes. And Chevy or, or GM has already trademarked these other names. They've already trademarked the name Manta Ray and Corvette Zora. And a lot of people right now out there are talking about how they wish the new C8 Corvette would be called a Zora Corvette because it would be a tribute to the very first Corvette engineer nicknamed the father of Corvette and his first name was Zora. And so he was actually the first person to ever have the idea of a mid-engine Corvette. And so GM has trademarked that name to use on one of the models. And I guess they could go ahead and use it on either the Z06 or the ZR1 because Zora starts with a Z. So they could just call it the Zora 6, the Zora 06, or they could call it the Zora R1. Either way, it could be one of those two models that that name goes with. Okay, so last but not least, we've reached what will the interior look like. And I actually had a follower reach out to me and he asked me to make a video of what this new C8 should have as far as like an upgraded interior. He says, I feel like the material inside should be improved and could be. So let's talk about the interior. Right now, there is actually someone out there that has supposedly seen the inside of this car. And I'm sure there's plenty of people that have truly seen the inside of this car. But this guy's claiming to have seen it and he did a rough draft of what he saw. And I'm going to go ahead and put that up here right now. So this is what he saw. If you take a look at his notes, it looks pretty interesting. He's saying that the mid-engine C8 will feature a fully digital gauge cluster with a thick squared off steering wheel. And to the driver's left, a digital screen is said to uh, wrap around the dashboard with center controls that are vertical in a neat line of buttons. There's also going to be a drive mode selector, which sits uh, right there in the center stack, and it will have some sort of digital touchpad there. The stack will also feature a start-stop button a lot like the Huracan. And so if you look at this drawing, it shows all of that. It shows a steering wheel very similar to the Ford GT, 
and it, it definitely shows some nice features that this guy is saying is uh, in this new C8 mid-engine Corvette. I, however, would like to see something like very fancy brushed aluminum, actual real metal buttons and switches in this car. Too many times they make these cars and it's just plastic stuff. And it would be really, really nice to see actual metal brushed aluminum buttons and switches and then have a real nice, uh, you know, like a exposed carbon fiber that surrounded all of this stuff. So that's going to do it for me for right now. I wanted to bring you guys more information on the C8. It's been a few weeks since I've done a C8 mid-engine Corvette video. And so I wanted to go ahead and bring you another one. But with that being said, thank you so much for tuning in and watching this video, watching my content, commenting on my content, liking and sharing my content. And for those of you that are new to this channel, welcome to the Brink of Speed community. Make sure and hit that subscribe and bell button so that you're notified when my new content comes out. I hope each and every one of you have a wonderful rest of your week, and I also hope to see you out on the road.